Welcome back to Bioscholar. This is the third part of our series on photosynthesis. In our previous videos, we explored the fundamentals of photosynthesis. If you missed those, be sure to check out these part where we explored some fundamentals of photosynthesis and a detailed process, and the second part where we have discussed factors affecting photosynthesis and its different types as well. Today, we're shifting gears to focus on the role human activities play in shaping this vital process. From deforestation to pollution, we'll cover the negative impacts, but we'll also highlight the positive changes humans are making to support photosynthesis. Let's dive in and see how our actions affect this life-sustaining process, for better or worse. Human activities have a profound impact on the natural world, and photosynthesis is no exception. The very process that sustains life on Earth is increasingly being disrupted by our actions. From deforestation to pollution, plants are facing challenges that hinder their ability to photosynthesize effectively. Let's dive into the key negative impacts of human activities on photosynthesis and explore the consequences for our environment and ecosystems. One of the most significant negative impacts of human activity on photosynthesis is deforestation. Forests, which are home to millions of plants and trees that contribute to the global photosynthetic process, are being cleared at alarming rates. As trees are cut down for timber, agriculture, or urban expansion, we lose a vital carbon sink. Without these trees, less carbon dioxide is absorbed from the atmosphere, reducing oxygen production. This deforestation not only diminishes the number of photosynthetic organisms, but also disrupts entire ecosystems that rely on plants for survival. Industrial emissions and vehicle exhaust release harmful gases and particulate matter into the air. Pollutants such as nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxide, and ozone can directly damage plant tissues, hindering their ability to perform photosynthesis. Ozone, for example, enters the plant's stomata and causes oxidative stress, damaging the cells responsible for capturing sunlight. Over time, this can reduce plant growth and even lead to plant death. Acid rain, a result of air pollution, also alters soil pH levels, which affects nutrient availability and negatively impacts plant health. As a result of human activities like burning fossil fuels, the Earth's climate is changing at an unprecedented rate. While increased carbon dioxide levels can initially boost photosynthesis, a process called the carbon fertilization effect, the long-term impacts of climate change are detrimental. Rising global temperatures, more frequent and severe droughts, and unpredictable weather patterns all stress plants. In extreme heat, plants close their stomata to conserve water, which limits the intake of carbon dioxide needed for photosynthesis. This stress reduces plant productivity and affects food security worldwide. While agriculture is crucial for human survival, some modern practices harm the photosynthetic process. The overuse of chemical fertilizers and pesticides contaminates both the soil and water sources, which harms the plant's ability to grow and perform photosynthesis effectively. Monoculture farming, where the same crop is grown year after year, depletes soil nutrients, making it harder for plants to thrive. This lack of biodiversity weakens the ecosystem and makes crops more susceptible to pests and diseases, further limiting photosynthesis. Human activities that increase carbon dioxide in the atmosphere also lead to more CO2 dissolving in the oceans, causing ocean acidification. This rise in ocean acidity affects marine photosynthetic organisms, like phytoplankton, which are essential to the marine food chain and global carbon cycling. Phytoplankton contributes to almost half of the world's photosynthesis, and the decline can disrupt marine ecosystems and decrease the ocean's ability to absorb carbon dioxide. Plastic waste, particularly in oceans and rivers, creates an additional layer of pollution that can block sunlight, affecting the ability of aquatic plants and algae to perform photosynthesis. 
Microplastics have also been shown to interfere with plant growth by altering soil and water chemistry. This plastic pollution has far-reaching consequences for ecosystems that rely on plants for oxygen production and food. While human activities have undeniably caused significant disruptions to photosynthesis, it's not all bad news. Over the past few decades, various efforts have emerged aimed at reversing the damage and even enhancing the conditions for photosynthesis to thrive. From innovative technologies to environmental restoration projects, let's now explore some of the positive impacts of human actions on photosynthesis and how we are working to restore balance to our ecosystems. In response to deforestation and environmental degradation, afforestation and reforestation efforts have become increasingly important. These practices involve planting new trees and restoring forests that have been lost. By increasing the number of trees and plants in ecosystems, we boost the overall capacity for photosynthesis, enhancing carbon dioxide absorption and oxygen production. Such efforts not only mitigate climate change, but also restore biodiversity and improve the health of ecosystems that rely on photosynthetic organisms. Carbon sequestration programs aim to capture and store excess atmospheric CO2, reducing its concentration in the atmosphere. This process helps create more favorable conditions for photosynthesis by slowing down climate change. Projects like carbon capture and storage and even bioca applications in soil are examples of how humans are actively working to reduce the atmospheric carbon burden, indirectly supporting plants' ability to photosynthesize and grow in a healthier environment. Modern agricultural practices are evolving to include more sustainable techniques that can support and even enhance photosynthesis. Precision farming, for example, uses data and technology to optimize water and nutrient use, ensuring plants get exactly what they need to maximize their photosynthetic efficiency. Innovations like vertical farming and hydroponics also allow crops to grow with minimal environmental impact while maintaining high photosynthetic rates, even in urban settings or areas with poor soil. As countries implement stricter environmental regulations, Efforts to reduce air pollution are proving beneficial for plant life. Cleaner air allows plants to photosynthesize without the stress of harmful pollutants like sulfur dioxide and ozone. Programs aimed at reducing industrial emissions, transitioning to clean energy, and promoting electric vehicles contribute to better air quality, which directly benefits the natural process of photosynthesis. This not only helps plants but also improves overall ecosystem health. Urbanization has typically been seen as a negative force for the environment, but cities are now integrating more green spaces into their design. Initiatives such as creating parks, planting trees along streets, and developing green roofs help reintroduce plant life into urban areas. These spaces provide plants with the opportunity to carry out photosynthesis in places where natural ecosystems once thrived. Rewilding projects, where humans actively restore natural landscapes by planting native species and removing human-made barriers, also play a key role in enhancing photosynthesis on a larger scale. To counteract the effects of climate change, Scientists are developing climate-resilient crops that can survive harsher conditions while still maintaining high rates of photosynthesis. Genetic modification and selective breeding allow plants to become more drought-resistant, heat-tolerant, or even better at capturing carbon dioxide. These advancements help ensure food security and maintain ecosystems that rely on photosynthetic organisms. In conclusion, the interplay between human activities and photosynthesis is complex, with both challenges and opportunities. While our actions have had significant negative impacts, the positive strides we're making through environmental restoration, technological innovation, and sustainable practices offer hope for the future. By continuing to support and expand these efforts, 
we can help ensure that photosynthesis remains robust and effective, sustaining life on Earth for generations to come. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of photosynthesis. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content on how we interact with the natural world. See you in the next part of our series.